Edward II, the troubled reign of a medieval monarch. Edward II, born on April 25, 1284, was the fourth monarch of the Plantagenet dynasty to rule England. His reign, which spanned from 1307 to 1327, was marked by a series of conflicts, controversies, and crises, making him one of the most intriguing and enigmatic figures in English history. Edward II's personal life, political decisions, and, ultimately, his downfall have captured the imagination of historians, playwrights, and novelists for centuries. This essay will delve into the life and reign of Edward II, exploring his upbringing, relationships, political challenges, and the events that led to his eventual deposition. Early Life and Ascension to the Throne Edward II was the son of King Edward I, known as Longshanks, and his queen, Eleanor of Castile. He was born in Carnarvon Castle in Wales and was the first English prince to hold the title, Prince of Wales, a tradition that continues today. Edward's upbringing was influenced by his father's military campaigns in Wales and his mother's Spanish heritage. He was raised to be a warrior king, but from a young age, it was evident that he lacked his father's martial prowess and charisma. Upon the death of Edward I in 1307, Edward II ascended to the throne at the age of 23. His early reign was marked by an initial wave of optimism as the people hoped for a continuation of the strong and victorious rule of his father. However, Edward II's reign would soon take a different course, marked by his inclinations, political decisions, and the influence of those around him. The Influence of Piers Gaveston One of the defining features of Edward II's reign was his close relationship with Piers Gaveston, a Gascon knight who became the king's favorite. Gaveston's influence over Edward was unprecedented and deeply unpopular among the English nobility. The king's favoritism towards Galveston led to resentment and tension at the court, as many nobles felt that a relatively obscure foreigner overshadowed their influence and power. Extravagant gifts, titles, and privileges characterized Edward's relationship with Galveston. In 1308, Edward made Gaveston the Earl of Cornwall, a title traditionally reserved for royal family members. This move, among others, alienated the nobility and fueled their discontent. The Nobility's Revolt The discontent among the nobility reached a breaking point, leading to a rebellion against the king's favorite, Piers Gaveston. In 1310, a group of powerful barons known as the Ordainers imposed the Ordinances, a set of rules designed to limit the king's power and his favorites. These ordinances aimed to restrict the king's ability to grant favors, levy taxes, and make political appointments without the consent of a council of nobles. Edward, pressured by the ordainers, was forced to exile Gaveston in 1311. However, the king's attachment to his favorite remained strong, and he soon found a way to bring Gaveston back into his inner circle. This defiance of the ordinances escalated tensions further, leading to open conflict between the king and the barons. The Battle of Bannockburn While the conflict with the nobility simmered, a far more significant crisis was brewing on the northern frontier. The Scottish Wars of Independence, initiated by Edward I's attempts to assert English control over Scotland, continued to rage on. Edward II's handling of this conflict would have profound consequences for his reign. In 1314, the Scottish forces, led by Robert the Bruce, decisively defeated the English army at the Battle of Bannockburn. This defeat was a humiliating blow to Edward II's prestige and marked the loss of a significant portion of the English territories in Scotland. The defeat at Bannockburn further eroded the king's authority and contributed to the perception that he was an ineffective leader. Isabella of France and the Dispenser Affair Edward's rule faced increasing challenges at home and abroad, so his marriage to Isabella of France became a focal point of discontent. Isabella, a princess of France, had been married to Edward at a young age as part of a political alliance between the two nations. However, their marriage was marred by Edward's neglect of his queen and continued favoritism towards Hugh Dispenser the Younger, 
a close companion who replaced Galveston as the king's favorite. Isabella's isolation and resentment grew, especially as Edward and Dispenser's relationship became increasingly close. In 1322, Isabella traveled to France on a diplomatic mission but used the opportunity to form an alliance with her brother, King Charles IV of France, against her husband. The Turning Point, Edward's Deposition Isabella's return to England in 1326 marked the beginning of a tumultuous period that would ultimately lead to Edward II's deposition. She brought a force of French and Hainaut troops, and many disaffected English nobles rallied to her cause. The combined forces of Isabella and her allies quickly gained the upper hand in the conflict. In September 1326, the Dispenser family was captured, and Hugh Dispenser the Younger was executed. Realizing the dire situation, Edward II attempted to flee with Hugh Dispenser the Elder. However, they were captured and imprisoned. Edward's deposition marked a significant turning point in English history. On January 25, 1327, Edward II was forced to abdicate the throne in favor of his son, the future Edward III. The reasons for his deposition were multifaceted, including his unpopular favorites, his mismanagement of the Scottish conflict, and his strained marriage with Isabella. Additionally, Edward's perceived weakness and lack of leadership qualities had eroded his support among the nobility and the broader population. Imprisonment and Mysterious Death Following his deposition, Edward II was imprisoned in various locations, including Kenilworth Castle and Berkeley Castle. The circumstances of his imprisonment remain shrouded in mystery and controversy. While the official narrative suggests that he died in Berkeley Castle on September 21, 1327, rumors persisted that he had escaped and lived secretly for years. The most widely accepted account of Edward II's death is that he was murdered in Berkeley Castle, possibly at the behest of Roger Mortimer, Isabella's lover and co-conspirator. The details of his death remain murky, but it is generally believed that he met a violent end, possibly through suffocation or other means. Legacy and Historical Interpretations Edward II's reign is a subject of ongoing historical debate and interpretation. While some historians have portrayed him as a weak and ineffectual ruler, others argue that he faced formidable challenges and that his failures resulted from a complex web of circumstances beyond his control. Historical Reputation Edward II's reputation has been largely negative, with many contemporary chroniclers and later historians portraying him as a weak and inept king. Chroniclers like Thomas Walsingham and Geoffrey Lowe Baker criticized his favoritism and perceived extravagance. Sexuality One of the most enduring controversies surrounding Edward II is the question of his sexuality. While modern historians are cautious about making definitive claims, some contemporary chroniclers and later writers suggested that Edward had intimate relationships with men, including Piers Gaveston and Hugh Dispenser. This aspect of his personal life has fueled speculation and debate for centuries. Conflict with the nobility, Edward II's contentious relationship with the English nobility and his confrontations with powerful barons, such as the Ordainers, played a significant role in the challenges he faced during his reign. Some historians argue that his stubbornness and inability to compromise exacerbated these conflicts. Scottish Wars the Battle of Bannockburn and the broader Scottish Wars of Independence profoundly impacted Edward II's reign. His failure to secure a lasting victory in Scotland damaged his prestige and strained the English crown's resources. Deposition and Death The circumstances surrounding Edward II's deposition and death remain subjects of intrigue and speculation. Some have suggested that he escaped imprisonment and lived secretly, while others believe he was murdered. The lack of concrete evidence has led to numerous theories about his fate. Conclusion Edward II's reign is a complex and controversial chapter in English history. His personal life, political decisions, and the challenges he faced combined to create a turbulent and ultimately tragic reign. His favoritism towards Piers Gaveston and later Hugh Dispenser, 
along with his failure to effectively manage the Scottish Wars of Independence, alienated the nobility and weakened his rule. His deposition and mysterious death marked the end of a troubled chapter in the English monarchy. Edward II's reign serves as a reminder of the complexities and uncertainties of historical interpretation. While he is often remembered as a weak and ineffective king, the factors that contributed to his downfall were multifaceted, and his personal life remains a subject of historical debate. His legacy continues to captivate historians and enthusiasts, ensuring that the enigmatic figure of Edward II will remain a subject of study and fascination for generations to come.